Here I am in Canva. What's great about PicMonkey and Canva is the, the easy customization of the dimensions. PowerPoint, you can only change the size in inches. With Canva and PicMonkey, you can actually use uh, pixels. You can find all sorts of inches to pixel converters online, but they just make it so easy. So uh, you could put in here, just like with uh, PowerPoint, five by five inches to make your square logo. Um, or you could pick from one of these um, pre-sized options. I definitely need a square, so I'm going to choose social media. And what's also awesome about Canva is it, it provides a lot of inspiration about what your logo could become, uh, as you can see by these different um, themes. So I'm going to pick the snowflake theme because it includes a circular um, shape so that I can, like in PowerPoint, I can determine how much space I have to work with once I'm uploading to Teachers Pay Teachers. So I am going to make this circle black so that I can see it. Uh, remember later I will delete it. I'm going to delete the background and make this circle fit the square here. And now I can start um, uploading my own fonts or using the fonts from here. Uh, I'm going to play around and just show you how I uh, use my creativity to match uh, fonts. I feel like it's sometimes just this feeling I get um, when I, I've got something that, that will really work. Um, so I'm going to stick with my store name, all things uh, PBL, of course, uh, but maybe I'll play around with some different colors, different fonts. You know, one way to find something you love is to just play around with the different options that are out there for you. It's exciting. Uh, you, you haven't chose your 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 business name and logo, the sky is the limit. Have fun with it. So I've been playing with the fonts and I really like the playfulness of this font and then the serious boldness of this font. I think that it's important to match fonts based on um, All right, so I've played with the fonts a bit, and uh, you know I like to match a serious font with a playful font. Uh, I think that my brand also involves a playfulness. I want students to have fun learning with project-based learning. So, uh, so you really want to think about you know your brand while designing your logo always. And Canva is really awesome because you can find. Um, all sorts of inspiration in the layouts and you can click elements and find photos. Now some photos are free but others cost money. Uh, so if I search teacher you'll see that some images will cost money if I want them and I want to include them in my logo or I can upload an image of my own, like um, the one of the girl and the ice cream cone. I'm going to pick a different stock photo because I want you to see the creative process of, of designing a logo. So I'm just gonna pick a totally different type of logo this time around. Okay, so let's see, what should I choose? Something that will represent my brand always. I am stuck with it. No, you're not stuck with it. You can always change later. 
It's just a little bit difficult when you've been doing your work and putting your logo on different products and then you have to go back and change those products if you decide on something different. Let's pick this lady. Okay, so she's uploading. I can add her and resize her. And remember this circle I'm going to get rid of. Um, it's just a placeholder so that I can see the area I have to work with. And speaking of that, I should probably fill up this entire square so that it is full um, and large. Like I've been saying, your logo needs to be seen across a room. So how do I bring this font up? I just click on the text box and I'll click this little arrow and move forward. And now the PBL is on top. And remember placement is key. So I want everything to be as large as possible and placed front and center and fit it within this circular area. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this circle so I can kind of see how things are looking here. I'm not sure about this font. I might change it. This is a little bit boring. So I might play around a little bit more with the fonts that I'm choosing. All right, I, I picked two playful fonts. And as I was doing this, I realized that the colors really clash. The picture that I chose clashes with the colors that I chose. So I need to do something about that immediately. Maybe I should match this pink with this font. So the eye likes patterns. So I want to, to find the color that matches this collar. And there is no color picker in Canva. That's why um, PowerPoint is so amazing because it, it does have a color picker. So I could go and find the color code of this. There are things online you can download to find out the colors, or I could just kind of eyeball it. I think I'm in the mood to eyeball it. So I'm just going to kind of move around the pink till I see something that seems to match. And you know, it doesn't necessarily have to match. I could make it a brighter pink, but then I'll have two different pinks and I don't necessarily know if I want that. Cause remember earlier I said primary colors and a secondary color. And so this pink is the secondary color. This is going to take some work to figure out the matching color. Oh, there we go. That one looks good. Okay. So now, um, I don't think that blue goes at all with this pink. Matching colors is key. All right. I cannot stand that these two pinks don't match. So I went and I downloaded an app from the Chrome store called Color Picker. It looks like this color pick eyedropper. So I'm going to go over here and use this to figure out the code for this collar. So it says, oh, I have to reload. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. So there's the code. I'm going to write this down and make the font this code. All right, escape. And I'm going to go back to my font and click the color, add, and then I'm going to go ahead and type in the code that I wrote down. Yes, they match now. 
Okay, now I need to do something about this PBL. It does not look good. This blue, no, 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 does not match. All right, now that looks a lot better. And I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger, maybe move this over. Remember, it's all about placement. It's all about fonts. It's all about sizing and colors. Hope oh, this is helping you all. Okay, when I'm happy, I'm going to download it as a PNG, high quality. And we're done with our second logo using Canva.